out of Oxnard, California. Here is Herbert Ace Acevedo. And his opponent fighting out of the silver corner to my left, wearing the silver trunks. He weighed in at 141 pounds even. Fighting out of Mission, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Raul Raline Tovar. Raul Tovar considers BKB to be his last shot to be a contender. Anything below this line is a foul. We went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to remind you to protect yourself at all times. We'll be my demand. God bless you. Referee Russell Mora they met in late April in California. The fight went the distance. It was Tovar by split decision. That was the last fight for both Tovar and Acevedo until tonight. Herbert Acevedo started out with a good nice nice jab, jab that landed beautiful. Oh, big left by Acevedo. Acevedo in the black trunks. Tovar in the silver trunks. Good overhand right by Tovar. Scheduled for five rounds of the junior welterweight division. Fellas, these guys are crisp. Who needs ropes? Right here, there's no need for ropes. These guys are, are, are in, a, in a fight. They, they both know each other very well. They both fight each other. Now they, they're here to, to give us a great fight. Right in the center of the pit, Tovar and Acevedo. Round one scheduled for five. Is it possible, Robert, for a fighter to know too much about his opponent in a rematch? Look, uh, they already know each other, but in the in this fight, fighting in the pit is totally different. You know, if they were fighting in the ring, they, they know each other better. Right now, it's just a fight that's going to turn out into a bra, and uh, whoever the, whoever's the, tougher, the toughest, the strongest, the one with the most condition is the one that's going to take the win. If it's a brawl, it's a tactical one. Because both of these guys are fighting very well technically. Very well, very skillful, both of them. Nice body shot followed by a left hook by Herbert Acevedo. Oh, oh right nice by right Tovar. hand by Tovar. Whoa, follow, double, double left hook by Herbert Acevedo. I got a left by Tovar. We're seeing a pattern, Acevedo, the double left hook, Tovar, the right hand. Body shots by Acevedo. And round one comes to an end. Good left hook by Tovar. Back comes Herbert with a beautiful body shot. And another left hook by Tovar. This is a pretty, pretty even. Who would you give this round to? I'm not sure I gave it to Acevedo by default. Yeah, it, it was much. a very I mean, close fight. Uh, you know, right here I was the impressed judges. with both fighters. Yes, both fighters fought really, really well this round. I like the way Acevedo doubled up the hook. I like the way Tobar threw the right hand. Tobar telling us I'm more of a... A brawler, I've lost some close fights when I've waited and have not been the aggressor. Acevedo said his mistake last time was boxing in the latter rounds, waiting. And, and one thing uh, a lot of people don't know, Tovar has fought great fighters. He, he lost a very close decision to Chris Algieri, who is fighting Manny Pacquiao next. Round two scheduled for five from Mandalay Bay Event Center in Las Vegas. This is our final bout on the audience network. Catch the next six fights on pay-per-view. Order at BKB.TV. Six nice bouts punches including down the middle by Herbert. Four championship fights. Whoa. Beautiful. Oh, he oh. goes down. Tobar goes down. What was and it, he's Robert? Hurt. The double the double left hook. Yes. Wow. Remember, it was Tovar who won the split decision over Acevedo back in April. I guess the pit is, is favoring Herbert Acevedo.
Nice body shot. Herbert's determined to, to get his payback. Up. I'm not going to box. I'm going to fight. I'm and not leaving anything to chance. I'm not leaving anything on the table. I'm not going to have to look back and doubt myself. And he is a stronger man, and that's what, what happened in the fight. He was a stronger man the first three rounds, but the last three rounds he boxed, and that's why he lost the decision. Physically, he's a stronger man. And he's got tremendous power, too, so that's why he was able to drop his opponent. We've seen Tovar before, however, and we should not discount his will. We tough shouldn't. He's, he's a very tough kid that always gives his, his best in the ring. Now that, fellas, is how you tie someone up. You grab that right hand. Looks like, <laughs> like both fighters forgot about the jab in this. Oh, oh another oh, knockdown by Tovar beautiful left left look. That will do it for round two. Tovar knocked down twice in the second round. Body, hook, and then a right hand. That's what dropped out Tovar the, the first time. Now, second time was a left hook that dropped him. Power in both hands. That's what shows that he's got power in both hands. Robert, did you teach him that double left hook, or did he come from Kansas knowing that? <laughs> you know, he's been training in Oxnard for, for a long time, and, uh, you know, sparring guys like Brandon Rios and uh, Marcos Maidana, he's learned a lot. But, uh, you know, Brandon Rios' dad also knows a lot of boxing, and uh, I'm sure they train very hard for this fight. Manuel Rios, Herbert Acevedo's trainer. Brandon's dad, this is round three, scheduled for five. Raul Tovar went down twice in round two. It looks like Herbert is determined to go out, to go for the kill. He's going for the knockout. He doesn't want to leave it for the judges. That was we the case in their last fight. We have seen Tovar cut. We know, however, that Tovar remains game. Always game, always game. But right now, he's uh, falling behind. And uh, I think to win the fight, he's running on a knockdown. I understand. You saw a little right hook, right uppercut. Come with that right uppercut again. Not a pit punch. Midway through round three, Herbert Acevedo on the black trunks, Raul Tovar in the silver trunks. The last 30 seconds looks like Herbert forgot to go to the body. I think going to the body was very effective for him. Was landing, was landing the body shots followed by hooks to the head, and that's, the, that's what caused the knockdowns. No room for jabs, right, in this fight? These guys are not throwing jabs. They're just going all out. Tovar has used those body shots to get back into the fight. Who has the edge, Robert, in this round? Herbert Acevedo's landing the better punches. He's, uh, he's a stronger man. With another body shot, oh. and, and down goes. Go. And it should be over. Beautiful right hand to the body. It's that over. It. It's over. Herbert Acevedo wins the rematch. Very, very impressive. Herbert Acevedo told us after losing to Tovar last time out, that loss hurt me. I felt as if everything went down the drain. He left your gym. Now he can come back with his nice. head held real Right high. to the body is what hurt, it, what hurt uh, Tovar. Down he goes and out. Beautiful. That right hook to the body.
Acevedo celebrates following his victory over Raul Tovar. It'll be a triumphant return to the Robert Garcia Boxing Academy for Herbert Acevedo, will it not? Great win, great win, great confidence. He looked great. Basically, everybody's going to soup him up on Monday That's when he comes right. in, huh? That's right. <laughs> to the pit, Barry Egan. Las Vegas referee Russell Morris stepped in to stop the bout at 1 minute 56 seconds into round number three for the winner by TKO out of Oxnard, California, Herbert A. Acevedo. Guys, you stand by, we're coming. So Acevedo.